my name is D. Ashok, Dash is what I'm called. I used to be the Executive Vice President of Siemens Information Systems Limited, SASL, and also an Executive Board Member. I joined them in May 2005 uh, with the explicit purpose of setting up a new division called Select Vertical Markets. Uh, the rationale was uh, to try and get Siemens to do non-Siemens work as well in a very competitive manner. So after about 25 years of consulting outside, I did this stint in Siemens and started looking at what kind of verticals we wanted to address. And we chose four verticals based on our strengths and what we thought would be appropriate. The interesting part was, uh, while the verticals were new, uh, people obviously had to be from within. So in a sense, I really took existing people and sort of re them to some extent and uh, also took a couple of people from outside and we had a fairly good team of about 200 odd people uh, initially itself. As we started working, I realized that the uh, Siemens of course was an extremely successful company and the culture was one of uh, fairly uh, conscious of hierarchy, respecting the seniority and the authority. And, uh, also in some manner very conscious of the processes uh, at the expense possibly of uh, speed of response at times, at least that's the way I saw it. So in this environment as we, as we started putting the people together, one of the challenges that I faced was uh, getting the people to work with each other. Because though it was called Select Vertical Markets, at the end of the day uh, we were an IT uh, delivery firm. And therefore, we had to have what we call as well as conscious as well, whether it was SAP, whether it was software development, whether it was any other implementation of packages like MES. And therefore, there had to be a high level of interaction between the leaders of the verticals and the leaders of the horizontals. As one would expect, there would be a lot of clashes in terms of priority, in terms of timings, in terms of philosophy. And in a sense, therefore, uh, the people while they went through interesting times, uh, did find it challenging. And uh, one thing that I wanted to do was to get people to respect each other, uh, to genuinely believe that everybody had something nice to offer, and more importantly, trust each other, not just respect, but trust, and work as smoothly as uh, possible. One would have liked to use the term seamlessly as possible. And because many of them had been in the system for maybe 10, 15, 20 years and got used to a certain way of life, uh, it was obviously difficult for them. Change is always difficult and set ways are difficult. So I was looking for ways and means of making a difference to this group, getting them to, uh, to like each other, work closely with each other, depend on each other. And it was then that I uh, chanced upon the uh, old issue of uh, management and I saw a write-up on Ashwas. A little later Rashmi told me that uh, you know, it was actually not a coincidence, it was, shall we say, destined or ordained to be that way. I didn't know it at that time. And uh, so subsequently I realized that one of the programs that they had was bonding, and, uh, which is exactly what I was looking for. So I got my senior management team together in Bangalore and we went through uh, aura healing and bonding session. And uh, I must confess that some of my colleagues uh, were a little skeptical. Uh, they had not been used to, uh, if not smoke and uh, mirror, this was candle and curtains, but they had not been used to that kind of stuff. Uh, one or two of them were willing to hold their disbelief in suspension, now, because I've always been uh, into this kind of thing. And so we went through the uh, we went through individual order readings. Uh, we went through a group session, bonding session. And uh, I must confess that, uh, short as it was, it did have very marked effect on the people. Uh, within weeks of uh, having this uh, session, one could see discernible changes in the way they worked with each other. They linked across each other. More importantly, they leaned on each other. The earlier skepticism or disbelief, uh, you know, that sort of thing had vanished. 
but more importantly, they started pulling together as a team. And the remarkable thing was, therefore, the efficiency of the team was high. People started getting utilized very well, which in consulting is very important. And more importantly, people softened towards each other. And uh, I would definitely say that uh, this session made tremendous difference. And uh, I was, in a sense, thankful that a back issue of a management magazine found its way to me, uh, even though I changed my address. And uh, I've certainly been in touch uh, the four with Rashmi, but very constantly in touch with uh, Maitri and Trishna. I have had the pleasure of meeting up with uh, Ravi. So, uh, all in all, I would say, uh, Ashwasan as a group uh, love to keep coming back to whatever opportunities there is. And uh, I think they're making a huge difference in a very, what we call as an unconventional way for us. But at the end of the day, I think uh, it's not unconventional, but the effectiveness that, of, of any intervention. And I dare say that this was, for me, a very positive experience. And I would like to thank everybody in Ashwasan for having made a difference to that group, which I think uh, realized their uh, potential and possibly went beyond that, uh, something that would have been unthinkable within that group, possibly sometime earlier. Uh, so thank you, Ashwas.